It took me almost 20 years to figure out how to collect comic books. Let me tell you how. Hey YouTube, it's Matt here. Now, I do not profess to be an expert on comic book collecting or anything like that, but I figured out a little niche for myself and how to make this hobby more sustainable and more enjoyable. Now, if you've been watching this channel for a while, you realize I do a lot of haul videos. I get a decent amount of comic books in. Now, I'll give you an example. This is about a month's worth. Now, this isn't all of it, okay? That is, I have a pull list with a comic book shop uh, in the Illinois area. Well, Illinois area. It's in Illinois. Okay, the Chicago area is what I mean. And they will ship my books to me. Now, this is another month's worth of books right there. On top of that, I will also stop at an LCS, if not every week on Wednesday for New Comic Book Day. Most of them. And I really don't spend a whole lot of money there, but if I, there's a issue that came out that I didn't have on the pull list that I realize I want, I'll go pick it up at an LCS. I've also told you guys on this channel that I had some goal lists for 2021. I had four books that I was absolutely looking hard for. And I have them here. This one is Fantastic Four. Number 48, first appearance of Silver Surfer and Galactus and all that other good stuff. Love that book. This was another book. I wanted the first appearance of the Cosmic Ghost Rider, Thanos 13. A little more modern book here. Well, Thanos 13 is pretty modern. This book's a little bit older, but still a modern book. This is Amazing Spider-Man 569, second printing. The one that has anti-venom on the cover wanted that and probably my biggest book of the year daredevil number one love this book it's you know great edition now this video isn't a brag video oh i buy this or i buy that what this video is is this an explanation i received a few comments on instagram and other things where people they insinuate that I have a lot of money. Guys, I'm a working Joe. I work nine to five. You know, I, I don't have a whole lot of disposable income. And for years, whenever I would do my comic book collecting, I had a small monthly budget for comic books. If I wanted to get a bigger book, such as the Daredevil number one, it took me a while to save up for that. And I, that's literally what I would do for it. Well, it took collecting a long time in order to get to that point. I want to let people know, I listen, like I said, my I'm, I'm not going to get in my finances, but I just don't have, I have a family, okay? I just don't have money to be throwing the books. I figured out something else, okay? And the t-shirt kind of explains it, okay? I follow Reggie Klux, and he had a series of videos on having the hobby fund itself. Well, I took a lot of that information to heart, okay? And I have not spent one penny on comic books this year. In fact, I've actually made money on comic books this year. I have been selling a lot of books this year, and that helps with my collection. I'm going to give you a couple examples, okay? Something is Killing the Children, okay? Great series. This is issue number 15. Guys, I don't need two copies. I can only read one. Why do I have two copies? Well, for the same reason that I have. Let me, uh, let's go see this. This is gonna be kind of boring for some, but it's gonna get the point there. I have one copy. This is issue 16. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. But not only that, not only that, 
This is the B cover, a Jenny Friz Frizen cover. There is issue 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. I have 16 copies of this comic book, okay? Nine of cover A, seven of cover B. Why do I have so many of them? Guys, I'm not gonna keep them, okay? Those books, now I, that book came out a couple months ago. I'm gonna keep those in a collection, see if the value goes up, but I'm not gonna go over every single thing I do. And guys, please do not ask me questions about how I sell or what I do, just because I'm not a financial advisor and I do not want to make a mistake in giving somebody some advice and then they eventually lose money. I would feel horrible about that. So please don't ask me questions on that. But here's another series. Okay, a new series. Geiger, issue number one. Now, I did sell a comic book and I gave away a really clean copy of issue number one to somebody for, you know, just buying and I appreciated it. This is a one in store variant. This book is getting really hot. Now here's the truth about Geiger. Geiger, if you haven't heard about it, go ahead and read it. It is a fabulous read. It is one of the best books of 2021, but here is a different variant cover for issue number one. I don't need to. I'm not gonna keep two. One of those will eventually go to the market. But I have been collecting this series. You know, it's a hot series right now. Again, I'm not gonna keep them all. But I do things like that. And I have learned, like I said, through Reggie, how to get the hobby to fund itself. And I have been selling a lot of books this year. And that helps with my collection because I can sell books. I Listen guys, I, I think this is a great series, something that's killing the children. I don't need this many copies. What would I do with that many copies? So I turn newer books, I turn them over and then I end up buying grails that I want. You know, the books that I'm showing off on here. And so they become affordable because what I'll do is I'll build up a war chest and then I'll start to knock them down. In the past, I was more of a comic book hoarder than a collector. And, and trust me, I, I enjoyed my hoarding, if you will. But I what I would do is I would literally budget monthly, every month, and add, this is how much money. And if there was a book, I would save up until I got to that point, and then I would buy it. But I still was a hoarder. I didn't use doubles. I didn't use, I didn't sell books. Uh, this year, I've started to change that aspect. And it's been a really eye-opening experience for me that I can take books that sometimes have been in this collection for years, but I have doubles of it. Some of the times I have triples of, and then I can turn those books into other books and new books. Guys, it's an eye-opening experience. Uh, if you want to learn more about it, watch some of the videos on Reggie Collects channel. But again, please don't ask me for advice on how to sell comic books because again, I'm, I've am i made mistakes. I've lost money on certain books. Now I have, like I said, and this is just an example and I'm using it over and over again because it's literally right on my desk. I bought 16 books. Now that's a financial investment. What if this series doesn't, you know, what if this book isn't popular? What if I can't turn it around and make more money off of it? I have lost money by doing that, by buying, you know, a, a stack of books. And I thought, hey, this is going to be a really good series to sell or a really good book to flip. And I've ended up losing money. So I'm not going to give you any advice. Some of that you're going to have to figure out on your own. But without a doubt, maybe if you've had long boxes for years and you've had some doubles, you can look and see what the, you know, that's, it's already a book in your collection that you're not spending new money on you might be able to figure out you know, what the value is and post it up for sale and then actually get that and then use that money in order to buy newer books. And they might not be brand new books, but new books to your collection so that you can add to this. So I figured out the niche for me in this hobby that makes me happy, that keeps me motivated, you know, keeps me excited, has new books coming in, but selling is a part of this hobby. For years and years, 
this hobby was just buying and collecting and basically hoarding. You know, I've thrown in a lot of new things in this last year. Uh, I've talked about comic book pressing. Uh, this YouTube channel is a part of this hobby for me. Selling books, flipping them, that is becoming another part of this. Now, there are some purists out there that are going to call me, you know, a, a speculator and I'm one of the guys that drive up prices of comic books. Maybe I am, and I apologize to everybody that feels that way, but I've watched people for years get these really fantastic books and not know how to do it. But this hobby has a lot of different angles and aspects to it. And because it's a personal hobby, and it can be whatever you want it to be, some people like to hoard. And that, there's nothing wrong with that. Trust me, I did it for years, enjoyed myself. If that's what you want to do, go ahead and do it. Collect how you want. Collect what you want. Collect however you want to collect. Just take some advice from my friend Master Blaster. Don't feed comic books to goats. He told me I'm not allowed, so don't collect like that. But other than that, all rules are, you know, pretty much whatever you want. Guys, I hope you like the content of this channel. I hope you like this video. If you do, hit that thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button and put a comment down below. I want to thank everybody for watching, and you have a great day.